Okay, we switched over to the microscope, and uh, we can see the uh, the quality of my my solder paste run. I'm off a little bit, but I think I'm close enough. So we can we can just start going through and, and putting the parts where we need them. And uh, luckily, I've got a list beside me that tells me what what is what and where it goes. And uh, I hope I'll get all these parts in the right direction. I got some switches, diodes, resistors. Okay, we'll just kind of go down the list. Um, and uh, let's see which is the best way. R9 and R10 are right there. Um, R9 and R10 are 4.7Ks. So let me just grab a couple of 4.7Ks here. I want all my labels in the right direction. Totally unnecessary. I've got this accelerometer part that goes up there too. It looks like pin one goes this way. I'm not sure how well that's going to solder down, but we're just going to go for it. You know, I can fix so much of this stuff afterwards. Okay, R6 and R7. R6 is a 1K. R7 is a 10K. the labels. It looks like a hair. Let's get that out of there. Okay. Um, D1 is an LED. And these are polarized, so we've got to be careful which way they go. And those two green dots are the, the cathode, so that's going to have to go over to here. R5 is a 1K. Let me turn it. put the switch on there at risk of knocking it back off. Switch two is down here. figure out you're not very stable after a while on this. Okay. I've got a big regulator that's easy to spot. There's only one of those. R11. R11 is a 4.7. C1 is 100 nano.
R1, R2 are 27 ohms. You know, I didn't have 27, so I'm going to put in 22s. C4 and is right there. C4 is another 100 nano. C8 is sitting right there. Let's see, that's at the last 100 nano. there it's got that off. U3 is the memory chip and it looks like uh, pin 1 is to the low and to the right so let's grab that one. We got C6 and C7. C6 and C7 are both 10s. Or C6. C7. R4 is 100 ohms. I should probably put this processor in here so I can move it around. The star is in the upper right corner. Let me rotate this to make sure it's correct. As the board get hot, gets hot, some of these things will actually float and recenter themselves. Um, C5 is right there. C5 is a 10, 10 microfarad. Okay, we got a C9 and an R8. C9 is also a 10. R8 is a 1K. End on, so I need to get edges. Okay. D2. That's another LED. And cathode goes the other way. So I'm going to flip this thing. That looks better. This is an IRDA interface, which is something I just wanted to play with.
we've got a switch. R12. R12 is a 4.7. R3 is a 10K. That's my last resistor. got a crystal that's right there. Let's put that in. Twelve megahertz crystal. And I've got the C2 and C3. Those are 15 picofarads for the crystal. You know, I'm not always very stable with this stuff. And I'll notice that the, there is a lack of solder paste on the one. Let's see if I can just get a little bit more on there somehow. Um, it's probably not worth the risk. Let me just leave it. And I'll fix it on the uh, after we reflow it. It might be just fine, and we'll be able to tell. I'll slide the part over so it touches it, though. Okay, the only part left is this guy, and I I see that those are kind of all blobbed together, shorted, and you know. Sometimes that works out just fine. Now my problem is, is that I got to take it out of the uh, the jig here because I haven't got enough room because it actually hangs off of the board. So I need to slide this back just a little bit. But it's our last part, so it shouldn't be too tough. And what I'm what I want to look at for getting it the right spot is the wings here should be kind of in the center of those pads. And that should be about it. So now the now the trick. Let me put it back under the other camera here. So there's our board with all the parts stuck down. Nothing is soldered yet. Um, we're going to go ahead and uh, let me, I have to reset up to, to set it up so I can heat up the board and uh, we'll reflow it.